Let me discuss about the other drug that is mefloquine. Right, let me discuss about the other drug that is mefloquine. Now, if you take this mefloquine, remember it can be used for chloroquine resistant plasmodium falciparum infections. And this mefloquine, remember for plasmodium falciparum infections, it can be used for both. That is, it can be used for the treatment purpose as well as even for the prophylaxis. See, what did we discuss regarding the quinine? In order to prevent the emergency of resistance, the quinine we don't give for the chemo prophylaxis. We use only for the treatment purpose. Whereas, you take this mefloquine, this is used for chloroquine resistant plasmodium falciparum infections. Right, it is used in case of the chloroquine resistant plasmodium falciparum infections. So, in this case, it is used for both treatment purpose and as well as even for the prophylaxis. Right, as well as even for the prophylaxis. Next, if you take the adverse effects associated with the mefloquine, remember mefloquine can cause the adverse effects that is the cardiac conduction defects right it can cause the cardiac conduction defects and not only that it it is associated with the certain cns adverse effects the cns adverse effects include psychosis and as well as the seizures Alright, the psychosis and as well as the seizures. Now, remember, along with mefloquine, administration with halofantrin or quinine is contraindicated. Okay, so along with mefloquine, you should not give quinine, you should not give halofantrin. Now, the question is why? Because when you give mefloquine either with halofantrin or quinine, it can cause the prolongation of the QT interval and that will precipitate the arrhythmias. So that is the reason why the combination of mefloquine with halofantrin or quinine is contraindicated. Okay. So remember administration with halofantrin right administration with halofantrin or quinine or quinine is contraindicated right it is the contraindicated why it is contraindicated because this particular combination will cause the QT prolongation and because of the QT prolongation, there can be the precipitation of the arrhythmias. Now, remember this mefloquine, it is effective as a single dose treatment of malaria. Right? So, this is effective as single dose treatment of malaria. Alright? So, these are the few points about the mefloquine. So, remember mefloquine, it is used for the chloroquine resistant plasmodium falciparum infections, both for the treatment and as well as prophylaxis. And the adverse effects of this mefloquine, it includes the cardiac conduction defects and the CNS adverse effects include the psychosis and as well as the seizures. And remember, this mefloquine should not be combined with halofantrin or quinine. The combination is contraindicated because this combination can cause the QT interval prolongation. And this mefloquine, it is effective as a single dose treatment of malaria. So, let me discuss the next anti-malarial drug which is primaquine. Now, if you take this primaquine, the mechanism of action if you see, it acts by forming the redox compounds. Right? So, what does this primaquine do? It will form the redox compounds. Now, what does this redox compounds do? Remember, the redox compounds, they act as the cellular antioxidants. 
all right they act as all right they act as the cellular antioxidants now now let me tell you primaquin it is effective against which all stages of the plasmodium falciparum parasite now remember this primaquin it is a tissue schizonticide that means it will kill the pre erythrocytic phase of the parasite and it also kills the exoerythrocytic schizonticide phase of the plasmodium parasite so number 1 it is a tissue schizonticide right it is one of the tissue schizonticide in the sense it is used for the pre as well as the exoerythrocytic phases right pre as well as exoerythrocytic phases and not only that this primaquin it will not only act as the tissue schizonticide remember it is also gametocide all right it is also the gametocide right it kills both male and as well as the female gametes now remember this primaquin it is always used along with the blood schizonticides for the radical cure of malaria now what is this primaquin doing it is acting as a tissue schizonticide so this particular primaquin it is used right it is used along with the blood schizonticides right it is used along with the blood schizonticides for the radical cure of malaria all right for the radical cure of malaria now the other points regarding the primaquin is that this primaquin can cause methemoglobinemia and as well as hemolysis in g6pd deficiency patients so remember even this particular drug primaquin should not be given in g6pd patients right g6pd deficient patients and even your quinine should not be given in g6pd deficient patients because the quinine will also cause hemolysis in g6pd deficient patients so remember right this primaquin in g6pd deficient patients this will cause methemoglobinemia right this will cause the methemoglobinemia and not only methemoglobinemia it will also cause the hemolysis all right it will also cause the hemolysis so this is a very important point that you need to remember regarding the primaquin and another very important point regarding the primaquin is that primaquin is contraindicated in pregnancy right so remember the primaquin it should not be given in pregnancy all right it is contraindicated in pregnancy because this will cause the teratogenicity to the fetus now remember this particular primaquin it is useful for both the pre and as well as the exoerythrocytic phase now which species of the plasmodium does not have the exoerythrocytic stage remember plasmodium falciparum does not have the exoerythrocytic stage so that is the reason why this particular primaquin has no role in plasmodium falciparum malaria because this organism has no exoerythrocytic stage okay so remember this particular primaquin has no role in plasmodium falciparum malaria right so why it has no role in plasmodium falciparum malaria because this organism has no exoerythrocytic stage right this organism has no 
exoerythrocytic stage. Alright. So, this is an important point about the primaquin. Let me shortly revise about the primaquin. Remember, the primaquin, it forms the redox compounds. Right. So, by forming the redox compounds, it acts as the cellular antioxidants. And it is both tissue chiontocyte and as well as gametocyte. That means it acts on the pre as well as the exoerythrocytic stages. Next, it is always used along with the blood chiontocytes for the radical cure of the malaria. Next, other very important point is you take in case of G6PD deficiency patients, it will cause methemoglobinemia and as well as the hemolysis. And this primaquin is contraindicated in pregnancy. And a very important point is that it has no role in Plasmodium falciparum malaria because this organism has no exoerythrocytic stage.